Hello and what's up everybody, it's Thunder Bob here and tonight I'm checking out a new game. This is Signalis, at least I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this is a brand new game, just came out October 27th. Right now it has 1230 overwhelmingly positive reviews. I've heard nothing but glowing praise for this game and I've been really wanting to check it out. Uh, it's a classic survival horror experience, think like old school Resident Evil, old school uh, Silent Hill, but it's kind of like a pixel art style with like really cool f effects baked into it. Uh, everything I've seen about it looked really amazing. Uh, I've been wanting to check it out. It's twenty dollars on Steam, and then I I realized I've got a humble choice uh, monthly subscription. I I usually uh, get the games each month, check them out, and if you have that, you actually can play this for free through the humble app. I'll have a a link where you can either check it out through the humble store or you can buy it in the description down below. Uh, but let's go ahead and just jump in and check this out. I'm super jazzed to play this. I already went through the settings. I've got it at 3440 by 1440. I got everything like kind of maxed out. Though this is like a pixel art style game. I don't think it's going to be like a graphical powerhouse. I really like when I move around. The eyeball follows. It's, it's kind of unnerving. And the uh, gameplay tonight is probably going to be just a quick look, maybe like the first 20, 30 minutes, depending on if I get to a good break point. Uh, right, right off the bat, I am controlling this right now with a controller. I believe it also has mouse and keyboard support, but it seemed like this might be a controller kind of game. So uh, left stick, you know, moves around and looks. Uh, right stick <clears throat> will let you just look in a direction, so maybe it's almost like quick twin stick. Uh, style controls. I don't have any other weapons or anything right now. Pull up menu, which totally looks like a Resident Evil menu. It's like six inventory slots. Get a map. Is that your health? That looks totally like a Resident Evil health bar. I really like the look of it like it it's not aping the old resident evil style per se it's kind of got like that pixel kind of look to it that everyone loves but like the look of the shadows and like the lighting on it so it's like pixel style but it has like really modern um you know graphical effects overlaid on top of them here logic module serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program. LSTR type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Existing. Okay, inventory is X. Select items left and right. Press A to open. Select the combine option to enter combine mode, which is probably like adding things together, like Resident Evil style uh, red and green and yellow herbs and whatnot while in com combine modes look second item to repair press a again to combine both items to repair damage to the replica select a suitable repair item sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides that is totally yeah i i probably don't even need to read this stuff i'm a huge resident evil fan interact with system failure unknown planetary surface scout vehicle critical system failure oh it's just uh, this just stealth pilot no signal our landing on surfaces damage critical systems okay i really love the look of that it's like it's going for realism but it's doing it with like like a pixel art style like the combination really works for like the horror aesthetic in, in my opinion. Okay, you can, you can like speed up just a little bit by holding R2. 
If I can go down, should I go down or should I keep exploring this floor? Yeah, like I was saying, Resident Evil, uh, I am a huge, huge fan. Like, if, you, if you've seen the channel, like, I've got full playthroughs of Resident Evil 3 and 4. Um, I did a full playthrough of Resident Evil 4 VR um, not too long ago. Like, that's... Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. And um, the uh, remake, I'm, I'm very excited for. Like, that's one of the games I'm very much looking forward to in the next year. Um... Yeah, like, I grew up on those games. Resident Evil 1 and 2 were some very early uh, experiences that got me into, like, cinematic horror kind of games, survival horror type games. anything else I can do here. I didn't go south yet. So I'm like on a ship. Control panel. There's no chance it'll ever fly again. Okay. Can I like I can uh, interact with much here. Okay. See landscape. Pick up the photograph. Sure. It reminds me like of a point and click adventure game to some extent too, where like, and I think if I just, yeah, if I just pick up my mouse. Okay, so if you go to the edge of the screen, you can look around too. So, it seems like a uh, mouse keyboard also works pretty well. I'm gonna keep using the controller just for now though. Okay, so the left stick will let you look around too. Okay. It's a lost cause. Can I like eject out maybe? Electrical failure. Is there anything I haven't interacted with? How about that photo. Photograph taken on self developing film despite. Oh, I bet that is. Remember there was like that thing I could interact with? Okay. Put it back out. You could find that control panel again. I'm super jazzed for uh, Callisto Protocol and also the Dead Space remake. Like in, in addition to Resident Evil, I'm obviously a big fan of uh, Dead Space just because of how similar, you know, uh, the original Dead Space was. Like it was pretty much uh, Resident Evil 4 in space in my mind. Okay. So, top left and right, middle, okay, I think I can, I just don't know, am I supposed to be, there we go, I had it backwards. Is there going to be a monster in there? I feel like there's going to be a monster in there.
Don't see anything in there yet. Two pieces of a key snapped in half. Yes. Can I combine them? Wrong button. I feel like I need like tape. They need the key to get in there. But I didn't see uh see any way like it doesn't show you if you've got everything in a room but I don't remember seeing like a tape or anything I could use to like reattach um, objects let's see missed it let's go back down I wish there was a way to like highlight objects in a room. That was one of the failures, I think, of uh, the, the old school um, Resident Evil games. Is like sometimes it was almost like a pixel hunt. Like, is there any tape? Oh, I didn't realize there were side walls here. Okay. That does not look like just a suit. Insert key card. Okay, so that's... I need the key card for that. Can't open that door. Okay, I missed a... I didn't realize there were side panels there. I'm blind, apparently. Defective. Can't open that one. My... There were two halls to the right and left here that I didn't go down. Mirrored diary page. Woke up from cryo in mess hall. I was wondering, like some blank lost in thought. Sometimes I feel interest. Got any tape? Need some tape. I feel like I should be able to climb in there. The opposite way. No. Okay. Like I've gone through everything on this floor, right? Let's go back downstairs and see if I missed any any doors down there, because I'm an idiot. Let's see. Went through like every every room, right? That's all personal eugenics.
can like go up to everything around here. Maybe there's something I can interact with. I feel like I just missed like something on the ground somewhere. Where was the room with the uh where I found that first book with the controls and everything? Okay. Let's see about combining. I'm an idiot. Now, which door was it that I needed that key card for? It was the airlock, right? This is like the airlock key card. I feel like there's gonna be something inside there. Kind of reminds me of the setting from Dead Space 3. Like an icy planet. Even though that was my least favorite game in the series, Dead Space 2 is the peak, I think, of that, that game franchise. One's good, too. It's like, one was... One was fully horror. Two struck a really good balance between horror and action. And then three went a little too far into the action and lost a lot of the horror elements, in my opinion. Oh, this is cool. It's like first person. It feels like an old school like CRPG where you'd have like the first person kind of mode. Thinking like the actual combat is all in that third person view though. I'm not sure if it's an artistic thing that she doesn't have feet, or if it's because you're like a robot. Yeah, let's crawl in the hole. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, so I'm actually like controlling it as she's going into this hole. An ancient looking tome. The king in yellow. Oh, that's the story from uh it's like a classic kind of horror story. They reference it in the first season of True Detective, which is that first season's amazing. German? Russian? I can't remember. Very unnerving. 
great holes secretly are digged when earths pour out to suffice. Things I've learned to walk that ought to crawl and think. Pretty effective title card. I mentioned in another video, but one of my favorite late title cards is uh, Cyberpunk. It's like six hours into the game. You think you're like pretty deep into it. In reality, you're like basically just ending the tutorial section. And there's this just great moment. And it happens, I'm not gonna spoil it. And then it just like, bam, Cyberpunk. Welcome to the game. Probably just gonna spend a few more minutes uh, in this session. I don't want this video to be too long. But... Okay. Oops. Did the location change? Are they playing with like the setting? Okay, so I must have just come down. Perception key. Camera is falling off. I feel like it's taped for a reason. A lot of defective doors in the future. Dead fuel unit? She's in a horrible state. Infected looking bio components are bulging out of her damaged shell. That is gonna turn into a robot zombie, is it not? Pretty sure there's a robot zombie. So saves must be, man, it's like so many little unnerving messages, must be limited. It's almost like the, well, I mean not limited, but you can only save in specific locations it seems. And at least one worker might be aware of the code. Broadcasting frequencies for the protector will wall saves. Any workers connected to this leaker to be interrogated until the culprit's found. I'll restrict all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Big area. It's got such a cool look to it. Like it's it's pixel art, but it's super clean and like easy to understand. All right, I gotta get the code first, obviously. Yep. Something gonna chase me if I'm running. Elster unit. You should leave this place. This facility, is, this facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. Looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. It's always a good idea to go deep underground in these games. 
There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key. Well, I only have a receptionist key, so... And, uh, all these doors are probably gonna unlock later, right? I'm really digging the like the look and the feel and the aesthetics and everything. Like uh, the production values are great. Like obviously it's very simplistic, and this isn't like pushing down of polygons or anything. But like everything just comes together really well. Like the, the sound effects and the you know the limited score. Uh, I feel like those guys are going to wake up. They get a gun. First aid kit. Oh, but it's not designed for replicants. I wish... Okay, so it does kind of show you the color coding at least. So yellow... what yellow means maybe it's just I don't have whatever I need to open that door yet I could go this way still I think there's a wall safe there and there's a microfilm viewer which I don't I don't have any microfilm yet waiting for those things to get up and attack me. Turn all those doors. Let's go through them. That's one thing. These games can be very, very confusing. Deflected or have it been elevated to be relocated by Aeon to S23. Serpinski, located at Lang, the frontier of the solar system. After a prestigious blink vocational school facility, you'll learn new skills to shape your future. You'll learn all about mineral extraction or... And of course, learning is not just about theory. That's where I started. I'm trying to see if there's any doors I have not... Staff room's got something to interact with. Let's go check that out, yeah. I'll probably end this soon-ish. Uh, I was really kind of hoping to get, like, a weapon and show just a little bit of the combat. But I don't think this is, like, a super combat-heavy game, but I know there is some shooting based on the trailer I saw. That's a save. Let's see, the wall safe, and I don't have the code for it. Though, so, there was a note in here about the, the code. Broadcasting frequencies. I wonder if the robot that was left alive I'd have any idea I also found that key but I haven't found anything that needs that key yet so I wonder Explored everywhere I can go currently. So I got that key card, but it's just where where to use it? Because the only yellow is there. Wait, that's blue now. Can I go there? 
I feel like I, I just was there though. I have like the worst memory in the world to be honest. I was, I was saying before, these games can be confusing. There's so many like back and forth and backtracking and like. We're gonna go down left and then see if that door is accessible. Pretty sure it's just like classic Resident Evil style. Do anything with that cart or with that cable? No. But now I have another card, the Aperture card, which I think is going to allow me to get into... That needed a classroom key. What needed an Aperture key? I wish it showed, like, what needed what. Like, I'm not... My memory's not that good. This is like Resident Evil, I should probably not, not kill these guys. I should probably just run. Oh, I thought that was the reload button. What do I even have? Okay, oh, any extra. Are you going to wake up? Is that the person I'm looking for? A psycho? I feel like she's actually bad. Yeah, I'll probably ending this momentarily. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Um, if you're into Resident Evil, Obviously, this is your game. Like, it is, especially those old school. If you're a fan of, I, I love the new Resident Evils, but I also really enjoy those old ones. So, if that, if that sounds like you, you should probably check this out. All the reviews I've seen are glowing. Uh, hair patch, sure. Nice. Uh, and I think it's about ten to twelve hours from what I read. And it's like 20 bucks, or again, if you have Humble Choice, it is free right now. Uh, it's part of their their, their ongoing um, free game collection, so totally worth checking it out if you're a Humble Choice member, uh, or if you have access to that. Uh, if not, I'll have a link where you can pick it up on the Humble Store. It's also available on Steam. Yeah, I think I'll end it here, though. Um, do those things get back up? It's all like glitching, right? Is it going to be like the Resident Evil 1 remake where you got to burn them to make them disappear for good? That's a frightening game. Okay. But I am going to end it here. I totally dig in the aesthetic, the music, the presentation, like just everything really 
very nostalgia inducing like it feels like my childhood like i played resident evil 1 and 2 so much growing up uh yeah so if you're into those games this is definitely worth uh, checking out and uh, if you enjoyed this video please do like subscribe drop me a comment with your thoughts and thank you once again for watching everyone have a great night